Well, in my case, I had a, a big um, traumatic event happen to me when I was um, one year old. Okay. Um, both my biological parents died in an accident. A lot of people, I feel like, um, look for a meditation practice to deal with symptoms of some underlying issues. Yeah. And we not always <laughs> um, look into these underlying issues. Um, and to work with the underlying issues, I, I believe that we need to turn to the body and we need to reconnect to this, um, this body that houses um, our being in this planet. But the body holds all, all of our, our um, life experiences, all of our, tra our trauma. Um, I am particularly very interested in trauma. Um, I don't think everybody is um, ready to just jump into a conversation about their own trauma. Um, part of what we do with um, somatic mindfulness is really um, recovering this sense of safety in the body so that at some point I'm able to, to explore um, th that issue and, and what's, what's being um, causing in, for me, um, both physically, emotionally. Um, okay. mentally. Um, in my case, since I've been uh, working with it for a while, I feel safe enough to share. I didn't even realize I had experienced trauma because it's not something that I uh, grew up um, listening about or um, I wasn't introduced to the concept. Yeah. And we always think about trauma as like this big event, like a, a car accident or, you know, some, or like, a rape or something it, like that. And exactly, exactly. Something that puts your life um, in danger in that moment, yeah. um, but it could be something that that happened regularly for years as uh, in your you know as you're growing up. Which, well, in my case, I had a, a big um, traumatic event happen to me when I was um, one year old. Okay, um, both my biological parents died in an accident. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button. Red one, you know the one. Just press it, little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. And I was raised by my father's family. Okay. So I was basically taken um, away from my mother's, my biological mother's side of the family. And um, I had good people around me growing up, but just that one um, rupture really causes a lot of um, stress. Yeah. in your body, in your physiology, in your, um, for a baby, you know, nothing is yeah. really formed yet. Um, and we talked openly in my family about that, mm -hmm. but still it's not like something that I consciously went into to process at any point. Yeah, well, until, and you were so young too, so it, it was almost like normal for exactly, you. Exactly, exactly, it was normal. I normalized like, like we do. And that was followed by um, an attachment to my primary caregiver um, that was very unsafe and, and insecure. And mm -hmm. like I said, you know, it's uh, that, that trauma that happens constantly in sometimes more subtle ways and sometimes more- Very, uh, very drastic uh, ways. Yeah. But there is these environments that people yes. can be in that they're operating, but they're so on edge, yes, right? Exactly. You know, maybe people grow up in um, an alcoholic or addict household and they don't know what they're gonna get or, yeah. or they're in a relatively verbal f abusive relationship, not even just physically abusive, but then there's the physical and that, of course, people say that that's trauma situation, but people don't realize that the verbal abuse or even just, you know, work situations that right. cause very much a level of toxicity that that nervous system is constantly on guard. These are all levels right. and expressions of trauma. People right. can go through these periods and they're just, you know, and they don't even realize until they're after it, yes. like you. So they're experiencing. And, and, and they're like, why am I having these weird reactions? Why am I ha having these feelings? But it's a you, you have to sometimes get out of it in order to realize right. what you were in. Right, and uh, even, um, you know, you can grow up with someone who's experiencing um, a mental um, health issue and that, that hasn't been addressed. Mm -hmm. um, and that's also traumatic. 
Yeah. Um, especially for for a child having to learn how to deal with that without really having any any understanding of what that is and having that adult who needed to be their 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 um, their safety be be what's causing them um, the unsafety be what's causing them um, to never know what they're gonna find and it puts it it it, it um it teaches ourselves to be very on edge like you said and, and yeah. sometimes looking for the danger or sometimes um, numbing the way numbing the way we feel uh, not to to cause more problems if you like this content make sure that you like subscribe and comment below and we also have amazing link right there for some cool product i know you want to check it out i know you want to click it go ahead go ahead come on you can do it all right until next time have a beautiful blessed day